Welcome to the video where I'm going to show you SOLIDWORKS CSW Ape prep examples. Now, if you want a full preparation for a SOLIDWORKS, you can just click the link below and there you're going to find all of my courses, how I can actually help you to prepare for different SOLIDWORKS certification exams. Let's get started. In this exercise, we have to create a following model and we have to calculate the overall mass in the task one. So here we have material, 6061 alloy, units, we have inches. And here we have two global variables, A and B. So let's look at this model. We have an origin here, right in the middle. As we can see, X, Y, and Z. So origin is right in the middle of this line here. This one, this edge. So first we're going to create this sketch. As we can see here, we have dimensions. Then we're going to extrude this sketch. But you must be careful here. Here we have dimension A. Here we have dimension 1, 1 1.5, 1, and here we have a 1, which leaves this dimension, this edge free. Because later, when we're gonna change global variables, this edge will be changed. So this edge will be increased or decrease the value. So we must dimension our sketch as is designated here. After that, we have to create two features. The first feature is this one here. So we're gonna create a plane here under 35 degrees, and we're gonna create this feature. And then we're going to create this feature here by using swept boss base. In the task two, we have to modify the previous model. So we have to add this feature here and then calculate the mass. In the task three, we have to change global variables A and B and calculate the mass. And in the task four, we have to change the material and we have to add this cut. And then we have to calculate the mass. So let's go to the task one and let's go to the SOLIDWORKS. First that we want to do, we want to change our unit system to inches. So let's go here and let's go to inches like this. Now we want to add some global variables. So let's go to tools, equations, and we have A. And A is six inches. So we want to make sure that here we have our inches. Let's go to units and this is inch like this. We have a B and this is four. As well, we want to make sure this is inch Like this let's click ok let's go to equation folder and here we have a and b now let's add material add it and we have 6061 alloy so let's go to aluminium alloys let's find 6061 this one let's apply and let's close now let's go to the front plane let's create a sketch on the front plane so first we're gonna go with midpoint line because as we saw before, we have our origin right in the middle of the line. So let's go with a midpoint here, like this. And this line has dimension one inch. So let's go here, and let's go here with one inch, like this. Let's click OK. Now we can go with a line, and now we can continue with our sketch. Let's go with a vertical line, horizontal line, and vertical down again. Let's go with horizontal. Let's go with vertical. Now here we have an angular line. Horizontal again, let's go down with vertical. Here we have horizontal. Then let's go down, we have a vertical. And here we have to create another slot like this. Now we have to go with this to here. Now let's create a vertical line here like this. Now let's make this point and this point here horizontal like this. Let's click OK. Now we know that this line and this line and this line are equal. So we can click here, here, and here. Now let's make them equal like this. Let's click OK. Now let's go to Smart Dimension. And this one here is 1.5 like this. And this one here is 0 0.5 like this. So here from this line to this line, we have an A. Let's go with equal, global variables, A. Let's click OK. Like this. Now we have from this line to this line here as well, 0 0.5. Here we have 1.5. And here we have 2 inches. From this line, to this line here, we have also two inches. And 
and this line is one inch. Let's click OK. And now our sketch is fully defined. We want to make sure that we didn't dimension this edge here. Now let's go to the features, extrude boss base. Let's go here with mid plane. And for a depth, we're going to choose global variable B. Four inches. Let's click OK. And this is our first step. In the second step, we have to create here a new feature. But before we do so, let's here on this edge create a fillet 0.2 inches. So let's go here to the fillets. Let's go with 0.2. Let's choose this edge. We could also create this fillet in the sketch. Like this. Now we have to create here a new feature on the new plane. So first we have to create a new plane and for the new plane we're going to need some references. And the first reference will be line, center line. So let's create this center line. So let's go to this face and let's create a sketch on this face. Like this. So we're going to go here with a center line, vertical, like this. Let's go to smart dimension and the distance between center line and the origin is one inch. Now we can just click OK and exit the sketch. And now we can create a new plane here. So let's go to reference geometry, plane. And for the reference, first we're going to choose the center line. And for a second, we're going to choose this face. Now let's go here to second reference. And instead of perpendicular relation, we're going to choose here angle. Like this. Let's go with 35 degrees. Like this. And this is the plane that we're looking for. Let's click OK. And now we're going to create a sketch on this plane. So let's go to this plane. Let's go edit sketch. And now let's go here with center point arc. Like this. So we have a center point arc, something like this. So we want to make sure that this point here and the origin are vertical. Like this. And we want to make sure that the center point arc and the center line are tangent. Like this. Now let's make this point this point here and this point here let's go with horizontal let's click ok now let's go to smart dimension and here we have radius of one inch like this let's click ok now we can choose a line and we can create three lines here vertical horizontal and vertical like this let's go to smart dimension and here from this point to this line here, we have 2.5 inches. Let's click OK. And now our sketch is fully defined. Now let's go to the features, extrude boss base. Now let's go here with up to body. Let's choose this body. And this is the preview and we can just click OK. Now here we're going to add two fillets on this edge and this edge here. So let's go to fillet. We have a radius here, 0.2. So let's click on this edge here and this edge here. Let's click OK. And this is what we're looking for. Now in this phase, we have to create some slots. So let's go to this phase and let's create a sketch. Let's go normal too. Like this. So let's choose here. Let's go with center rectangle. So let's start here. And here we have one center rectangle. Here we have the second center rectangle and here we have the third center rectangle like this. Let's click here. Let's delete this coincident like this. Now let's put some dimensions here. Here we have dimensions. So let's go to smart dimension from this point to this edge. We have 0.2 like this. Here we have also point two. Between those two also we have point two. And between those two as well we have point two. Like this. Let's click OK. And now let's make this line, this line, and this line here. Let's make them equal. Let's click OK. Now let's make this point here this point here, this point here, and this point here. Let's make them horizontal like this. Let's click OK. Now our sketch is fully defined. 
We could also create this by using linear sketch pattern, but we don't have a lot of rectangles, only three. So now we can go to features, extra cut, and with the depth we're gonna go with 0.1, like this. Let's click OK. So this is what we're looking for here. And here we have a third feature. So let's go on the front plane. And let's create a new sketch on the front plane. Like this. So let's go to the center point arc. Let's create something like this. This one. Now let's go to smart dimension. And the radius of this is 0.7 inches. And the distance between center and the origin is 2 inches. Let's click OK. And now we can go features and we can choose swept boss base. And here we're going to choose circular profile. So we're going to choose this line. And for the diameter, we're going to choose 0.3 inches like this. Let's click OK. And our model is finished. We can hide this line, so we can click on this line, and we can go with height. Now we have to calculate the mass. So let's go to the Evaluate tab, Mass Properties, and this is 2.73 pounds. And this is correct result. So this is the task 1. In the task 2, we have to modify the previous sketch. So here we have to create a new feature, and then we have to calculate the mass again. So let's go to this face here. Let's create a sketch in this face. Like this. Now let's go here and let's create a line here. Like this and this. Now we can go to convert entities. We can convert this edge, this edge, and this edge. Let's click OK. Now let's go to smart dimension. Let's put some dimensions here. From this line to this line, we have 0.6 inches. Like this. And this line here as well is 0.6 inches like this. Let's click OK. Now let's choose a trim and let's trim those lines here. This one and this one here. Let's click OK. And now we have to add a fillet. We have a radius 0.2. Let's choose this point here, like this. Let's click OK. Now we have to create a new circle at this center here, like this. So this circle and this fillet are concentric. And the diameter of this circle is 0.2 inches. Now our sketch is fully defined. Now we can go to Features, Extrude Boss Base. And you can choose here up to Surface. So we're going to choose here this surface up to this face, like this. Let's click OK. Now if you look at our drawing, we want to make sure that this hole doesn't go through all. This hole goes only to this face and here to this face. So this is the modification that we're looking for. Now we can go to the Evaluate, Mass Properties, and this is 2.79 inches. So this is what we're looking for. In the task tree, we have to modify the previous model. So we have to change the global variables. So let's go to equations, manage equations. And for the A, we have 7 inches. And for the B, we have 5 inches. Let's click OK. Now let's go to the mass properties. And we have 3.67 pounds. And in the task 4, we have to change the material. And here we have to create a cut. So let's go here. And let's change the material. So we have to add 24 in alloy. So let's go here. 24 in alloy. Apply and close. So here we have 24 in alloy. And here we have to create a cut here. So let's go in this phase. Let's create a sketch. Like this. Now let's go to the center point arc. Let's go with the center at this vertex. Let's start from this edge. Let's go up to this edge here. Let's go to smart dimension. And the radius of this center point arc is 0.5 inches. Let's click OK. So now we're going to cut only with this center point arc. We won't close our contour. So let's go to Features, Extrude Cut, and here we're going to choose True All, like this. We want to make sure that we have here good directions. So here we have in this direction and in this direction. 
Let's click OK. And now as you see, we cut our model with open contour. So this is also possible. We can also cut our model with close contour here, but then we have to add on new two lines. And these only increase our time. So with open contour, you can also cut your model. So let's go now to evaluate tab and mass properties. And here we have 3.64 pounds. And this is correct result. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you got a good value from it. And if you want a full examples for the CSWA or CSWP or other SOLIDWORKS certification exams, you can just click the link below and you can access my full courses.